In this video, we play the ferocious ZA35 to get us into a very unusual cast plane. This is the Buccaneer. It may look ridiculous, but it's armed with four bullpup missiles, the lewdest air brake, and of course, a very secret hidden bomb compartment. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So it turns out playing a bunch of goofy tanks in top tier can burn you out in War Thunder. So today, I'm going to take out a cast combination along with the ZA-35 and take my frustrations out on the enemy. Now there isn't much to say about the ZA-35. It's a Roy cut with basically a Gepard or Marksman turret stuck on top. It's fantastic, it gets around the battlefield pretty good. It's excellent for getting some quick kills early on in the match to get yourself into one of these planes. This first one here we're going to cover is it's an event vehicle that's still for sale on the marketplace right now. This is the Buccaneer S1. Now I know it doesn't look like it because of its awkward proportions, but this thing has four bullpups and four bombs in this internal bomb bay door that's underneath here. This is a fantastic cast loadout for ground RB. Now the keen eyed among you have noticed this thing has absolutely no guns whatsoever, but that's not really a problem because is very fast. You can basically just straight up avoid other cast planes and now this thing is 8.7, the A10 and of course the SU-25 have been moved up into a BR bracket where you'll not face them anymore. This is basically king of 8.7. Then to make things even better for Britain, there's a fighter version as well. This is the Scimitar. It also has four massive bullpups and it has a lot of guns, four of them to be exact, and plenty of ammo. These are 30mm Aidens cannons. They do great against aircraft, helicopters, and of course, for top down in tanks as well. Now the bullpup missiles do take a bit of finesse, they're keyboard guided, so not only do you need to fly your aircraft to make sure it's not going to plummet into the ground, you need to be guiding these missiles towards the target as well. I have a guide on this, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to find out how you can set these up in order to fire them the same way I do. They're a little awkward, but they're very rewarding once you learn how to do so. Now what makes these two vehicles a great pair is this scimitar takes away from your fighter aircraft spawn pool, and then of course you've got your bomber and attacker spawn point pool comes from this. So when you spawn one of these, it doesn't make the other one too expensive to bring back out again. At most these planes will be, I think, 800 spawn points. So you should be able to get 800 spawn points in one of them to then spawn out the next one. Meaning you only need to get a couple of kills in your ZA-35 as you speed around the battlefield or even a single cap and you should be good to go. Anyway, I just wanted to blow off some steam today. I got some extremely high kill games with these aircraft. Let's get into battle and I'll show you how we get on. Uh, let's put this thing down, shall we? Yeah, no, 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 hey. I know it's big, no need to be jealous, all right? Oh, there's a oosh coming with us. Follow me, dude. I'll, I'll plow as a path. What did I tell him? I'm gouging the fences out for him. Nah, he decided not to follow me, though. Okay. That's fine. That BTR was not expecting that. I don't see anyone flanking that way. But there's definitely this STB. Oh, he's here. Are you coming all the way around? Uh, here. I I'm not sure that was the best idea. But, it, you know, it is what it is. What's that chopper? I don't know if it was friendly or enemy. Is there another one coming this way? Come on. I'm just actually gonna push out here. And shoot on to be. Never mind. Okay, I ripped this barrel to shreds. Destroyed that man. There's another guy on the cap though. That way? Oi. Oh. A BMP2 came back for me. We we did okay, did we did okay. Right, we've also got that guy uh, disabled on this side. So let's go. It's Buccaneer time. What an absolutely absurd first rush vehicle that is. Does it make people mad in chat sometimes? Uh, for good reason, probably. And then we, we come along with this thing, get four free kills, and then we 
do the same thing <laughs> again with the buccaneer. Do we have enough spawn points straight away for this? No, we actually have to put a bit more work into it. It's alright. Some, I think it's my teammate is pinging me with radar. Accidentally, of course. We have a bit of a climb on here. Is that a little anti-air I see in the back? Is it just a rock? It might just be a rock. I do rid of this guy in the corner. He's annoying my team. Don't go underneath my big giant tail, please. The explosion from my teammates. Missile misled me. I need to do some damage here because my team right now not having a good time, I don't think. Let's get this guy off A. Of he looks lighter than the other guys too, so I've lost my missile again because of my gigantic tail. I've only taken out one of his crew members, so there's two of them down here. Right, I can probably bomb this guy quite easy, so let's flip open the bomb bay door. I need to remember though that our um, bombs, we can drop them vertically, unfortunately. My MBT's in trouble here, is he? It would appear so. That bomb is slow coming off the rail as well. We could... Oh! Oh! I can't tell if that was someone firing at me or... Not. Right, we're gonna get an anti-air in response now. Maybe. It's very likely. All these radar pings, dude. Ow. I think we got another two here, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we did. Right, let's go again. We go again. I think we might win this just by destroying enough enemies. Which would be really nice. The IS-4 I let up before is still alive as well. I'm kinda hard to kill with that build up, unfortunately. Oh, there's three planes coming in. So we may get a dogfight too. We will get a dogfight. That's a prop though. That guy is not the one that's over the battlefield right now. He's getting lit up. It's a uh, IL-8. I don't know where the anti-air went, but ignoring him for now, helping our teammate off that gap. Oh, that IL-20 is dead. Whoop! The angry boy is back. Right, one jet, one prop. No, two jets. Yeah, you come up here and meet him. I think it's an SU-11. I'm sure you'll catch me. I don't think he's... He doesn't know what to do. He's gonna go low, get some speed and then climb, but I don't think he can do that with a scimitar, even. I get to just ignore this guy for free as well. This is good. We got all the caps now, so... <laughs> he just pulled him away from the battlefield, so he's not really doing anything. That's cool. We take it. I wonder if we can hit this guy from really far. Listen. F84F. This guy's just vanished, but he was rendered a second ago. There he is. Please. Okay, one. Oh, the other one exploded too. A uh, helicopter. can't get my guns down. Oh my god, there we go. I'm too fat. <laughs> and this guy's still chasing after me. Right, have you come, dude? Come on, then. You can do it, little fella. Thrust. 
just pure thrust. <laughs> He's given up already, he knows. I'm gonna go around this way so I'm not flying through a cloud. My, my teammates kind of suffered a little bit. Oh, they're on B again. Yeah, the plane's flying over our spawns right now. The IS-4M is still railing my teammates. I don't see the guy on B. I don't see the IS-4 either. Actually, I genuinely don't see anyone. Okay, now we know where that guy is. Oh, another SPA. I think I mental note of where that guy is. He stopped rendering again. See, we're actually flying just as fast as his rounds are. They gotta go around this stupid cloud too. Teammates, please don't lose this battle, okay? I need you to not do that. To start running out of fuel soon. We've used two minutes of our six currently. Okay, enemy dead there. What's this guy doing? Driving towards the sea cap. Actually, I think he's behind the building, sort of a. DMP. Oh my god. Okay, right, we can do another one. It's the same guy again with a bajillion text. Right, fold the thing down. A chopper. Come to me. Om nom 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 nom. Give me chopper. No no no. Is that an MIA? Was. He finish. Dead. MI4. Where are all the anti airs at that were there before? We just want to win. We want the W to the A cap just in case. Holy moly. A prop! Where are you going? Come here. I'm going to chase him around. Oh, I hear a jet now as well. He's coming out this way. Can't really make his mind up what he's doing. The looks of it. Yeah, the props away. Oh my god! I just shoot him. Shall I? I'll do it myself. <laughs> okay. Use my radar as a a block on this guy, or I guess not. How did that pin me and kill all my crew? It just did. Anyway, that's that's game did. That's a very high kill game but for this battle rating. I would definitely say so. Right, we got a full up here on Sun City, which is not a great map. Not a good map for this. And for cast, not ideal either. I actually don't hear anyone currently. Okay, now I do. E55 roasted. I don't know if this guy's coming around behind me or not. He's probably a little scared. Look this. I'm actually. I'm going to push out this way and see if we can hit this medium. Okay, we're good. And again, oh, there's another one out in the sand I didn't see. Oh yeah, hey, he's, he must have been perfectly behind that tree. Right, it worked out for us in the end. Let's go, Buccaneer. Right, A cap should be secure for a little while. Dealt with that flank, no problem at all. We've got enough spawn points, even if we just graze an enemy with a bullpup to take out our next plane. So that's all great news. Losing C cap. I really want to secure the A side. So I'm going to ignore C for now. 
keep our bomb radar all closed for the time being. I can see artillery popping off over here. My MBT is getting pushed by this guy and he's dead. And this dude's still back here. Are we going to get proxy fused or something now? Is the question. Right, Leo's dead. That guy's a alive? He's alive. CM11, I think. I'm gonna have to deal with this guy pushing. Two guys pushing a light tank here. But I'm waiting on this proxy fuse. Something just absolutely destroying me out of the sky. Give me the both of them. Yes. Nice. Okay. Right. Where's the Ozzelot? The enemy team's going to be very upset that this is happening to them now. If I wipe this guy out at the risk of me getting shot down, it means my team can push out of there. And I might be able to get two in the one go as well, which would be super good. This guy's not ready for me, that's fine. One. Double here, maybe? No, but I crit the big heavy thing, whatever it is. Right, Bombay door is opened. These have got a massive delay on them though. So if they spot an SPA now, I'm in real trouble. This guy is... dead. Oh, problem. Take that guy out for now, hopefully. Oh, my bombs dropped early that time. All right. I don't understand how these uh, how these bombies work. My teammates hopefully got this guy. He has not. Right, we're we're in deep trouble with it. Deep trouble. Our team is not winning that A cap fight for some reason. PZG 04A. I need to be careful in this compressomatic. Nice job. Excellent. Three left. What is my team fighting down here? They're having a really hard time with it, whatever it is. Don't know what that is. It's very light. Rugged than all that. Very scary vehicle for our team. They don't need to deal with it anymore. There's actually a couple of really scary things down here. A4 E early is also built up in. Where is the response to this? This guy in the corner is about to be absolutely annihilated as well. Oh, get my missile away from that. Almost got my teammate. And we're taking back C. Three enemies. Still not seeing... Okay, one plane. They really need like a proxy for his SPA. Is that an anti-air that's just spawned here? I'm gonna try and hide behind this building. He tried. Well, this game did. Too easy, man. Nerf. <laughs> right, there we go. Put against Russia, Germany. Let's get our big stupid radar folded away. And we'll try and do a, a spring trap on the enemy as they try and push A. All I need to do is get enough spawn points to get ourselves in a plane. And then we're, we're golden. Basically. Let's just rip this wall down here. So I get a straight shot. This is really stupid what I'm doing, but 
this is this is what you do in a rat vehicle like this, right? That's four. And a bit easier as well. Five kills, easy peasy, and there's a, a strip behind me as well. The, the guy, uh, this guy parked right in front of the Strud's wagon. I think they're both threatened now. Why are you not killing me? Actually, anyway, the, the, the Strud's wagon's even more damaged. Right, okay, let's go, dude. We're going Buccaneer. That was an absolute disaster for the enemy. <laughs> I don't know how you come back from that either. That's absolutely brutal, man. Probably shouldn't have chased a BTE, but I thought it might have been a BMP2 or something. Didn't even BR check on anything like that. Just got stuck in at the beginning. Enemy plane already. His PSV90 has just died on this corner. That's good to see. He's a major problem. I'm going to regret not bringing my buck in here now with that aeroplane there. Opening Bombay door. Let's get some of these bull pups on the way. That was a bit of a long ball, that one. Two, and then I need to dodge the aeroplane. Wherever he's gone. Here he is. If I get around behind him, He's going to have a harder time chasing me down, at least. It's a sab. Doing looping? Maybe a WZ is there, actually. Oh, that's really terrifying. Oh, yeah, it was a Veek. And my bombs, <laughs> my bombs, uh, I chucked them too far because of the, the delay from the drop on them. V can catch me off guard, no problem. I'm not scared of a sab in this thing. That enemy plane that I just saw, and as soon as I zoomed in, disappeared. It's probably a prop. That is really Buru Uragan or whatever the hell they're called. It's not going to know there's a Vik down here. I need to constantly maneuver to make sure I don't get yeeted by a proxy fuse. The two of them are like hiding behind the rubble in the spawn. Sab's doing really good work. Right now he's shooting the Buragan or Uragan or whatever. Some sort of Uga Booga. Is he gonna change his mind and start shooting at me now? That's what I would do. Done. There's another one there though. Sab's coming for me now, right? That is not a Sab. It's a G91, but we're too fast. I'll bring him up. Uh, our thrust is just too much, man. These guys will not catch us. As long as I don't make a mistake. My problem is I need to actually kill him too. F9F, I think you're about out of your league right now. This plane's coming for me as well. Genie one's turned away. The Veek might have brought a plane instead. Or he spawned another one. Either way, not good scenarios for me. My teammate needs help with this guy. He's scouted in here, but I'm not sure I can hit him. There's a building in the way. <laughs> I got it through the window. It's 
staying fast with this G91 being up and then there's another plane that was chasing me a second ago. It's a prop. Gepard just spawned in. He's shooting the F and the F. I'll hide behind the radar signature of his teammate. I can't see where the Gepard is. Actually, I do now. There's two there, but they separated, unfortunately. No, there's the Gepard there. Terrible shooting, and I've crashed, I think. Now oh, we're good. I'm gonna get low. Wait to go back and rearm. Let's be on an absurd amount of kills here, yeah. Chad landing gear you'll use other this guy. We don't need that. We idiots. Let's keep the Holy the is Why did we start skidding off? Anyway, we're down. The, my teammates are calling out an aeroplane. Okay, the Gipper's dead. That's good. Yeah, I see it. Probably the Sab again. Who's doing really well. I think we're losing this, man. I need to take care of the aeroplanes. One of these planes has just gone quiet. He's probably hugging the ground, coming towards us. Oh no, he's up here. That is neither the Saab or the G91. Heli. Priority right now. Right. I don't think I can outrun a MiG-15, but I'll give it a shot. Actually, I think we're going to be okay. As long as I can just bait this guy away from my teammates while they do their work. We are... We're going way faster than he was. Way faster. He's not taking a head on either. It's game for us, dude. Game for us. Our teammates held it out. Oh, it's two aircraft and one on the ground. The one on the ground is dead. GG. What a start. A lot of people ask me where my fun is in War Thunder, but I think 8.7 is just about the limit. So from reserve to about this BR, this is about it, dude. This, this lineup is crazy, dude. And now I've got the Vickers Mark 11, the Chieftains, and of course I've got the Royka Mark 1 as well. Uh, and warrior and stuff too. Uh, this is a really nice place to be. For the Buccaneer, I actually picked this thing up I think for 12 bucks, but it's very steadily increasing in price right now. I don't know if it's worth this, but at least you get the Scimitar for free. You get the Buccaneer S2 at 9.3, which gets bullpups and air-to-air -air missiles, but they're really bad ones. They're only M9Bs, and at 9.3 this thing just gets shunted by A10s and of course 
Strellas and the likes as well. I've avoided playing cast for a long time because I know a lot of people don't enjoy it because they don't like getting bullied with planes. But uh, I think Britain really needs something like this. <laughs> it's nice to see that it's still here. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching today. I really appreciate you being here. And as always, a huge thank you to everyone who supports me over on Discord and Patreon. To all the tier threes who get a shout out over on Discord. That's Ari, Sexy, Wet Wolf, Army Rebel, Bofe, Cookie Bird, Muncher, The Starry, Ezra, The Titania, Fearless Germ, Goosebelly, Master Zain, Mushy Boy, Rice Field Antics, thank you very much, dude. Rusty, Satan Karma, Sazzy Zar, Sniper, Stoyan, Strike Noir, War Daddy, Rigged Wolf, and Zig. And to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Paul Wendrick, Cookie Bird Muncher, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anderson, and Brandon, aka The Flying Pickle, MB1 Kenobi, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Jay Parambi, Love of Weasel, Maybe Cookie Muncher, Not Cookie Muncher, Ride Shaft, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly, Mortan, and David Pyrophoric. And they won. The only Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye-bye.